give up on God Cause he won't give up on you He's able Hello good people This is Mot CDC I'm bringing to you live And a message of hope From Bishop Isaac Mokope Direct from New Covenant Fellowship Television Get ready and stay tuned Thank you. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord for an opportunity like this one where we can address the nation and address all God's people out there and especially on what happened on the 19th of March right here at New Covenant Fellowship International uh, Church where quite a number of people gathered to come and worship the Lord and glorify His name when suddenly we were attacked by uh, criminals who shot at random in the church and kept the church at the hostage where they looted quite a number of items including cell phones and ladies' bags and other items that were not mentioned and disappeared with everything. But we thank the Lord that during that time uh, the church stood together in prayer and while everything was taking place the body of Christ was praying calling upon the name of the Lord and we also want to thank the Lord that no one died in the incident even though uh, we have people that were admitted at the hospital but we thank the Lord that they are okay and they are re recuperating very well. And as a church, we want to send a message out there that there are those that do not know the Lord. There are those that are living in darkness. And this, what happened is the work of darkness. And because these people, they don't know the Lord. If they knew the Lord, they would have never done what they have done. And the Lord Jesus Christ said to such people like that, forgive them for they don't know what they do. But we are saying to the churches out there, Please be alert and vigilant. Whatever the enemy may try to do, we must be uh, vigilant so that we can uh, be able to protect God's people. And we also want to thank the Lord that one of the criminal was trapped in the church until the police came and apprehended him. And we say thank you to all church members for the support they have shown to stand together and to honor the Lord. Even after the event, they were still there praising the Lord together with us. And we also want to thank the Lord for all the messages of support that we received from pastors and churches around Rustenburg and outside the Rustenburg. People calling to encourage us and to show solidarity. We want to thank the Lord for all the support that we received also from the uh, law enforcement uh, police officers that were here um, in a twinkle of an eye, they were with us here to give us the support and to encourage the congregation. And we know that Rustenburg is a safe place to be. And we want to say thank you for such a support and uh, the messages that you have sent us this coming Sunday, which is the 26th, we received messages of pastors from different churches and as well as politicians that they would like to join us in our celebration service to come and give thanks to the Lord with us and also to continually give the messages of support. I want to say to all our church members, we are so grateful and uh, thank the Lord for each one of you for the commitment that we have shown and be strong wherever we are. We are not looking backward, we are continuing with the work that God has uh, called us to do. And we want to continue to stand together with you and encourage you to do more in the name of the Lord. And we say Sunday the 26th, we will be together and joined by other friends who are coming to support us, to stand with us. So let us come, all of us, and also welcome all the visitors that will be coming to our church to stand with us. We are thankful unto the Lord that we are not alone. We have got other brothers and sisters that are concerned about what we are doing in Rustenburg. God bless you and we love you. I hope
hope you have received and enjoyed the message from the beast of God. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Stay blessed. He is able.